and before I proceed, I just want to get your opinion. What do you think about the term industry plants? And do you think that Stephen A and some of these guys are industry plants or they are just guys kicking it really bobo getting paid doing it? Gosh, I love this show. I really do. Because it lets my it lets my mind go off and, and, and answer the questions truly and as you know professionally as possible. I do think there is such thing as industry plants for sure. I think again, I'm gonna use that word psyop because it's it's created by intelligence and uh central intelligence agencies. So it's there's a way to push the algorithm of people, entertainers, sports people, anybody. And I think it would be under the umbrella of those who have sold their souls or the cabal or whatever this dark agenda, right? Because we do know that, you know, Satan is a small G God of this earth. He can promise you wealth and riches and all these things. And we've seen it happen time and time again. People say they sell their soul. If it weren't a thing, then we wouldn't be talking about it so much, right? But it's temporary. Keep that in mind. But yes, I do think that some people would go and take a contract. I have had contracts that felt like it would be selling your soul. You can't talk about this. If you, when you're with us, you can't talk, you can't sign with anybody else a year after. If you break the contract, you can't work at all. You can't, I'm sitting here looking at this 19 page contract and I'm like, I don't know. Thank you. Ain't not enough money in this world for me to zip it that hard. I talk. So I do realize that yes, there are those things that definitely uh, can push a person to the front if they sign a John Hancock, right? And dot their little blood dot on there. So sure, I think Kevin Hart, when I look at him, his little eyes look beadier today, it, it, or, it, nowadays. It looks like, it looks dark. And I try to take, I try to take note of this. I'm very observant. There's one thing that I am, and it's observant. And I, I, I notice uh, there's a veil. And like you said, I want to run it back. You said, um, Somewhere in the middle of the show, you said, you know, um, guard your ears, guard your eyes. I often say that guard your eye gates and your ear gates. And I, when I, in the morning, I pray, Lord, guard my eye gates and my ear gates from any evil that would try to penetrate them and my mouth from any evil that would try to protrude from it. Cause see, I know we can be hung. We can get things that we see and it can go into your brain and it can screw you up. You can also say things and you can't take it back like toothpaste. You can't put it back in the tube. So there's that. So I try to cover those grounds before I get out the bed. I say that guard my eye gates and my ear gates and my mouth. Right. Because I do know that there's some things that, you know, we can't, we're not supposed to do or say and or see. And I think that right now, because the money feels like it puts you in a better position, although it doesn't, because if you've made any amount of money, you know that once you've made that amount, if you have a if you have a dollar figure, 25 million, I'm chilling. As soon as you make that first 25 million, you start to see it dwindle down to 23, 22. You need to get back there. If you have a mind like me, I'm trying to make more. So you never get comfortable in what you're getting when it comes to finances and money on earth. So we have to find a way to create a, a fiscal system behind our faith in what we will do and what we won't do to get yeah. money. Because if you don't, then that's what you would be called. You'd be called selling your soul It'd be in, or, or an industry plant. Because the Illuminati, I believe truly 100% is a real thing. I mean, I even, like, I do believe that there's deals to be made. I don't know how the guy comes, if he comes in the coat and the suit and he comes to the door, knocking on the door. I'm not sure about that. Get out here, boy. Sign this contract right I, now. I don't think it's like, <laughs> I think giving money. But for me personally, I don't have the Illuminati draw. I'm awkward in real life. I don't like people that much. I'm going to talk about <laughs> Facts. I'm going to run people away from, from that. They're like, no, nah, we're good. I don't want to talk. If I'm going to sign my soul, my soul, soul to the devil, which I do not advise anybody to ever do, it's Jesus or nothing. But I don't want to practice. I want to jump on. I want to like just appear on stage and be dancing and know the routine and sing. I want it to be easy. I'm not signing myself so over to the devil. I already got talent and I just have to wait for God to just go ahead and be like, now's your time to shine. Do I think that everybody who has made it has sold their soul? No. I think the ones that say Jesus and not just I want to thank God because you got to be careful with that. Y'all know who they talking about. But if they are pro proclaiming Jesus, who I believe there's only one way to the father and that's through the son, then they then, then then they probably have not sold their soul because the, the the Illuminati don't want you talking about that. Their God is the small G God, like I said, Satan. So 
Yes, I think that there are plants. I'm trying to stay on track. And I think that the industry can be very, very dark. Just look at the eyes of some of the people that are we're told to in our algorithm look at Stephen A. Look at look at him, look at him, look at him. And they will get a script. Because like I said, I had a contract that you, they will give you a script, they'll give you clients, they'll give you this, and you just need to go there. And you need to show up. And if they tell you you can't talk about certain things, you can't do it. So in essence, it would be selling yourself. Yeah, absolutely. And I think uh, you know, when you think about it from a perspective, you know, you got people like Little Nas X, that's another industry plan oh. in the source of um hip hop. You know, I don't know what that is that he do, to be honest with you. Um, you know, that's an industry plan to me, without a doubt. Like that right there, like if there's any industry plan that I could tell you today, hands on, that guy is a plan. <laughs> He will come to mind number one. And obviously, I think he's paid to promote an agenda, which is um where things is going in. And that's the thing. Everything aligns. See, I'm good at this, bro. You need You're to sign me, bro. <laughs> I don't know if I want you to sign me, but you know, uh, you know, people gotta start coming along, bro. Because um, <laughs> it's like where I see hip hop going. Mm. When you talk about stick to sports, right? I'm gonna I'm narrate it. It's going, I'm gonna bridge it so you can understand where I'm going here. Let's go. Hip hop was one thing, right? It was lyrical, okay? I got the best bars out here. You can't see me, all right? Guys were calling each other out back then, but for good reason, for sportsmanship. I am better than you, okay? And it became lyricism, then it became mumble rap, then it became drill rap, but it still was rap. But what he's doing and what I see hip-hop going is going to be more than rap. It's going to be, you know, I'm not trying to, you know, um, offend people here, but... You can see lifestyle, you know, his lifestyle being a trend that's promoted in hip hop. And it's like, okay, why don't you stick to hip hop? Why don't you stick to bars? Because that's what hip hop reminds me of bars and music videos. Let's do that. I saw 21 Savage drop a trailer for his movie. Let's go back to that, making movies about rappers. But we got this guy here promoting a narrative. And who's to say nobody else is not going to be inspired? Be careful, little eyes, what you see, right? Uh -huh. That that song did something to me when I was little hearing that song. Like, damn, I'm going to get in trouble if I watch the wrong thing. God going to strike me down, okay? You know, that's what that song did to me. I was scared. I'm like, yo, I got to be on my best behavior. So when you talk about sports, and I bring up little Nas X and being an industry plant, promoting something that's not hip-hop and where that could go, when you talk about sports, when you got Stephen A, who I saw in the video, um, thanks to Jason Whitlock, he posted it in his video with Stephen A promoting the jab. Okay, like I'm watching sports. Who are you to first of all lie? Okay, I gotta call you out. You're lying, bro. You said after the show was over, first of all, you you had this speech, which I thought was well done. Listen, I respect even if I disagree, I respect presentation. I'm a guy big on presentation. I like to tell a story, I like to have a show, literally. And I thought Stephen A did a good job with the presentation, but I didn't appreciate the message. Okay, right. you telling everybody to go and stop and get the jab. You put out the fly statistics about black people not getting vaccinated. Do you blame us after what happened in the past with the right. Tuskegee? You know, everything. All right, whatever. And then you lied and say, when you got me, is when you lied. It said directly after the show was over, I'm going to get my shot. Bro, you're not getting no shot after the daggone show. Stop lying, bro. Okay, stop lying. How much are they playing you right now, bro? For you to lie. And that's where I have an issue with. Please like and subscribe for all the up-to-date content. We're, we, you've been slinging shows left and right. Slinging content left and right. Please don't miss anything. If you do, like, subscribe, leave a comment. Or leave a question. Something you may want to answer. Something you may have. It's all ideas are great ideas. Nothing's a dumb question.